Uh, so I gave chat four the same exact prompt for comparison purposes and something quite interesting happened. <laughs> um, I mean, you can see right here, I received a very respectable article, but by coincidence, chat's first point was the exact same as Claude's, which was financial inclusion, which was very interesting that they came up with the same first point. Um, so here's chat's take. Bitcoin could play a pivotal role in bridging the financial inclusion gap. According to the World Bank, approximately 1.7 billion adults worldwide remain unbanked without access to traditional financial services. Bitcoin allows anyone with a smartphone and internet connection to make and receive payments, sidestepping traditional banking systems. Wow. That's good. I mean, that's real good, right? Um, you know, the word use in this article to me is a little more natural, but definitely much more sophisticated. And something I found fascinating was this. They both included the stat about 1.7 billion adults globally being unbanked, which is interesting. But in the chat article, that sentence begins with according to the World Bank, which sort of like cites the source, you know, and also to me, it kind of points to like a more mature writer. Uh, which I really, really like. So, I mean, both articles are good, but I really like the Chat 4 article much better. Now, something I've been itching to test with Claude 2, and I believe this is probably its most competitive feature, is its input and output capabilities. You see, Chat GPT 4 has a limit on how much data you can feed into it. Uh, for personal users, that limit is roughly like 6,000 words, and for API users, it's around 24,000 words, which is great. But Claude advertises that it can do triple that amount, allowing inputs and outputs of up to roughly 75,000 words. I mean, that's a big bump, and I'm definitely curious on how it can perform. So to test out this feature, I found a public domain book by Friedrich Nietzsche called Beyond Good and Evil. I then literally copied the first chapter, which was around 7,500 words, and then pasted it into Claude for a summation. And I mean, I mean, you can see right here, within a few seconds, I was presented an outline with the key points from the chapter. I'm super impressed. Not only was I able to paste in 7,500 words, but the outline is spot on and like intelligently written. And a small detail I really appreciate is this right here. Check this out. Claude automatically packaged my 7,500 words into a small file. I know that's a tiny detail, but I really like that a lot because now I'm not like overwhelmed with seeing a bunch of extra words on my screen when it's not necessary for it to be there. And just so you can see it, I tried the same exact prompt with chat. Uh, not only did I get this message right here, the message you submitted was too long, but chat also did not condense my input to a small file. So in terms of crunching large amounts of data, Claude 2 definitely wins on this point. So the last test I wanted to give Claude was, I have to admit, sort of silly. Um, Claude has been described as a friendly, enthusiastic colleague, and I wanted to see if that could like shine through a response. So I asked Claude, do you know any good dad jokes? And I mean, you can see here, I mean, this was the response. Sure, here's a silly dad joke for you. What do you call a dog magician? A labracadabrador. So I asked chat the same thing. You can see here, I actually got seven different jokes to choose from and all are actually pretty good. I mean, here's the first one. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. <laughs> So another thing I like about this response is chat also left me this note, which added like kind of like a personal touch. Uh, remember the key to a good dad joke is always in the delivery. Aw, thanks chat. So overall, I mean, Claude 2 is actually more powerful than expected. Um, I like how easy it is to use and I like how the layout is very clean and not overwhelming. I also think Claude does a good job creating written content. I mean, the article that it wrote for us, to me, I mean, it came off very professional and seems to be written by someone knowledgeable on the subject. However, the ChatGPT4 article was hands down better and seemed to be written by a more sophisticated author. Uh, so in regards to written content, I mean, Chat is more superior in my opinion on this point. 
uh, where Claude really stood out to me and basically eliminated the competition wasn't how much data it can digest at a time. I mean, being able to add like large amounts of data is a game changer and like will make analyzing things like books and reports and documentation, you name it, like a cinch for a Claude user. So, I mean, I really like this tool and I can really see the advantages it has. Now, when determining like which is better, Claude 2 or ChatGPT 4, it really comes down to like what task you need to perform. Um, after like a bunch of testing, I mean, both tools seems to have their like limitations and both seem to have like their benefits. And although, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not gonna run out and cancel my chat premium subscription just yet. I'm also not gonna cancel Claude just yet either. Um, I'm gonna continue to play around with both and leverage the features that are present in each. But let me know your thoughts. I mean, have you played with Claude too? I mean, what'd you think of it? Please let me know in the comments. Also, which AI chatbot do you think will rise up to be the dominant one in the space? Please also let me know in the comments. And lastly, I wanna thank you for your time. Your time is so valuable to me, so I do hope you found value. And until next time.